asexual reproduction in yeast. Yeast is a unicellular organism. So let us suppose that this is a yeast and since it is a unicellular organism, so we can consider as if this is the nucleus which is present in this unicellular organism. Now to reproduce this particular yeast cell will produce an outgrowth which is called as bud. So now this bud is present in this particular yeast cell. After this, the nucleus will start elongating. The nucleus will elongate itself. As a result of this division of the nucleus, the nucleus will divide into two daughter nuclei. One of the nucleus will stay in the parent cell and the other nucleus will move into the bud. After this, the bud will grow and it can get detached from the parent cell and develop as a new individual. Sometimes it can also happen that a bud is arising from the parent cell and from the same bud, the another bud also starts arising. And since again the same process will happen, this nucleus will again divide one of the nuclei will be moving into the new daughter cell and another will remain in the parent cell. So likewise, we can have a chain of buds that can be formed in case of yeast. So either the daughter cell will get detached and it will develop as an individual organism or there can be a chain of buds formed. Since this is a mode of asexual reproduction in case of yeast and there is formation of bud, so this method is called as budding. Thank you.